start of the week, so time to fill up the tiramisu drawer. Here's my attempt at making the viral tiramisu drawer. We were actually trying to make 150 people tiramisu, so I made four of them. But even before that, I made a bunch of test batches. So what I'm actually trying to say is I never want to make tiramisu again, but this is how I did it. The first thing I did was make a ton of Genoise spun. Essentially, they're giant sheet cakes. Ain't nobody got time for ladyfingers, okay? These things are massive. Every single container of tiramisu uses like a dozen eggs. So my recycling container was just cartons and cartons of eggs. Like, wow, it was so satisfying. You want to separate out the yolks and the whites and then you want to whip them up separately with some sugar. Daniel brought over his stand mixer and I never felt so powerful using two stand mixers at once. Okay, once both the egg yolks and whites are light and fluffy, you're going to combine them together, folding them in slowly. Then you want to sift some flour on top and then you want to fold it again, trying to keep in all the air as much as possible. You want to pop that into the oven and while that is baking, we're going to get started on the coffee soap. So we're going to go to the espresso machine and coffee maker in my building and get ourselves a lot of espresso shot. And once you've milked all the free coffee that you can get, I've also combined it with a lot of other random coffee and coffee products in my fridge. I, I don't know. It's kind of like a coffee soaked jungle juice. In addition to that, we also whipped up some cream. This is actually a mix of mascarpone and cream cheese. Again, we are dual wielding stand mixers as always. Okay, now we get to assemble. This is really where the pasta bar video comes in handy. We're starting off with a layer of our coffee soak and then a layer of sponge, which we're trimming down to size to fit the pan. Then we're adding a layer of mascarpone cream on top and then we are smoothing that out. In between all the layers, we're dusting a chai tea powder mix that we made because this is a dirty chai tiramisu. You can also use cocoa powder if you're basic like that. Like you can keep your flavors of your tiramisu drawer classic, you know? We squirted some more coffee soak onto the sponge and then put it in the mold, put more coffee, more cream. And then my arts and crafts project for the day was cutting out this logo out of parchment paper, dusting more chai on top and then peeling it off. I don't know why I didn't think that would work, but it is so satisfying and I can't wait to serve this to everyone.